In this tutorial, I show you how to install Elementor Beta. And this basically allows you to use beta releases of Elementor on your site. I recommend you on a testing site, not a production site. And with using Elementor Beta, you can see all the new features before they go public. And you can familiarize with the new features before they're actually in use. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress and you like tips and tricks and hacks and getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then check out our Elementor waiting list. There's a link in the description down below. And I'm thinking of creating just the ultimate Elementor course that shows you how to do everything with Elementor and it's constantly updated because Elementor is constantly updated. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, get on the waiting list, you get more information there and there's no obligation. So if you're on there, it doesn't mean you have to purchase or anything, you're just on the waiting list and you can decide later down the road if it's something for you. And with that out of the way, let's head on the screen capture. Accessing the beta release versions of Elementor is really simple. Just head down to your Elementor menu, click on tools, then click on version control and then enable beta tester and it says here we don't recommend doing this on a production site and I don't either do this on a test site so you can play with the new features there because it's beta there are still bugs there's still kinks to be worked out the design might not be finalized the features may not be finalized so if you start developing things on the beta version on production and then that ends up not being supported with the release it can cause a lot of problems. So make sure you do this on a test site. When you choose enable and then save changes, there'll be an update to Elementor available within a few minutes in the plugins, and you can update it to get the beta release. And then when you don't want beta anymore, you can just go to disable. There's also a rollback of versions. So if, I don't know if you knew about this, but if you are using the regular version of Elementor, so you're not using the beta version, you're using the, the standard release and an update comes out, but it breaks stuff on your site. You can roll back to a previous version a version when that wasn't broken. And you wanna make notes on what broke and why you think it happened, and then send that to the Elementor team so they can look at it and fix it, because it's probably a bug. And then they'll be able to address that so you don't have to not ever update Elementor again because it breaks stuff on your site. And they may not even know about that bug. So if you don't tell them, they may never know. So when you do enable it, if you head over to Plugins, I'm gonna to go to Installed Plugins, and then go down to Elementor, we see that for Elementor Pro, I'm using the Alpha 2 right now and Beta 2 for the regular Elementor. That is shown because I have the beta testing enabled. If we disable beta testing, we can then roll back to the older versions or when a new update's available, update to the new version. They're no longer in beta. We are just in regular public release Elementor. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon. Get on the Elementor waiting list in the description down below if that interests you. And next up is checking out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.